A big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. In this video, I chase fog all morning. I lose and the fog wins, but I managed to capture just a few good shots, I think, and have a fabulous time in the Lake District. And look at these roots, they're amazing, aren't they? Morning everybody, fantastic to see you all again. I'm so excited, I'm in the Lake District. It's autumn and we've got a bit of fog and I've come to take some woodland shots by um, Derwent Water. And if you just look around there, we've got some fog. It's only a little bit though, so I think what I'm gonna have to do, I was gonna shoot in these woods here, but I don't think the fog's lifted up, so I'm gonna walk down the path and try and get into some woods a little bit lower, closer to the lake. But it looks fantastic. Right, need to get everything ready. Got a little bit of time, about half an hour before sunrise. Finish my tea. And I'll see you in the woods. Okay, I've been running around a little bit. I finally found some fog really close to the lake and I'm gonna to have to be quite quick and take some shots. So I'm looking at these trees here, which look quite nice against the background. I think they've got quite a bit of character and the grass is sort of catching, catching the um, light because it's got a lot of water on from, from the condensation that's come on it, which looks fantastic. But I really need to be quite quick and, and try and get the shots. So there's gonna be less of me talking this morning when I find a a composition I'll let you know but wow this is so amazing keep changing my mind and going backwards and forwards. <laughs> the mist keeps um, changing, but I think I'm just gonna sort of see if I can pick out some long shots over there. Just as, just as a little bit of mist, and if I can just use my long lens and just try and find something that's really simple, it might look good. <sighs> this is hard, this. It really takes <laughs> a lot of perseverance, but oh, what? It's nothing better than being out in a morning like this. It doesn't get any better than this. Beautiful, beautiful morning at the start of autumn. Okay. Oh. Retreating fog is not a good thing to film and shoot at the same time. So I think I've got a shot here, I've taken the shot. And basically what I'm doing is I've got to an angle a little bit towards the lake here with this sort of old fence, this little bit of an island here, and then a recession back to that tree in the distance. And then in the mountains, you can tell it's autumn because we've got this really beautiful sort of dark brown bracken. I love that about the Lake District, it looks superb. Now there is a little bit of mist coming back where I was before, so maybe when I've taken this, I can jump back in the car and go back over there, but it's, it's not like the way I like to do photography, I feel rushed, um, but sometimes you get something good. Anyway, I'll keep going.
okay, you can probably see behind me now that in this direction, all the mist has gone. But in this direction, I'll just show you with my camera then. So you can see here that the mist is just still hanging over Derwent water. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down there because I know there's a forest down there. I'm going to hope that there's still some mist there and see what I can get. Fingers crossed, I find something. Okay, so the mist has come in a lot further now than it just was a minute ago. I was just stood on the peninsula over there, but the mist has come right in, which is a good thing because it means it's going to go into the woodland, which I can probably go and make use of. But I'll show you the shot that I just got down here. Um, so I'm just, if I just take you down here, and you can see I have lined up a shot here with these rocks and then that um, tree and, and a little peninsula in the background. Now you used to be able to see the mountain and some light coming through, but because the fog's come in a little bit heavier, you can't see that now, but it still looks really good. Um, so I think I'll probably stay here for a few minutes and then head somewhere else, which seems to be the thing of today just keep heading somewhere else <laughs> not a good way of doing photography don't follow this advice <sighs> come on fog just decide what you're going to do <laughs> it took me like forever to get through to you misty blue Okay, so I'm back down here, whereas before, and you can see it's much clearer in the background now. Um, and I've just got this island here, just with the peak behind it poking up. And I cheated a little bit, and I created a bit of a ripple, and it looks really nice. Okay, so I found this amazing tree here. So I just thought I'd have one last photo. The fog's pretty much gone now, but these roots are amazing. So I've just got my 24 to 70 on, and this is something that I'm gonna have to stack afterwards because the exposure and the focus will both need stacking. So maybe I can show you how to do that in Lightroom in another video, if I haven't got time in this video. But that's it, it's time for a cup of tea now. What a awesome morning. This is the morning that just keeps giving. So <laughs> I was about to just pack up and head back home and I noticed a little bit of mist just here. You can just see a mist this there, and I've just this tree here has just captured my attention with just a broken branch. So I'm just going to grab this. This is amazing. <laughs>
Okay, I'm back in my studio now um, with Pebbles somewhere. I don't think she's going to make an appearance. I think she's asleep somewhere. But yeah, it was stunning conditions, wasn't it? What what a morning that was. I just couldn't believe how lucky I was to get those conditions. But I just made such a terrible mistake or a number of terrible mistakes, really. So I'd arrived the night before and I had camped over in that exact location so I could get up really early and make sure I make the most of the conditions. The night before I went out and scouted the woodland that I wanted to shoot, thinking that the mist was gonna get into that woodland. And I scouted probably three or four compositions. You can see, I'll just show you now these, these compositions. So these are compositions that I wanted to go back to in the morning when the mist came into the woodland. And I was convinced it was gonna be misty, it looked perfect conditions for, for, for mist. So then I thought to myself, okay, I've got to wake up about half an hour before sunrise and that would give me enough time to sort of get into the woodland and get the, those shots. I wasn't too worried about shooting the sky and um, so usually I'd get out somewhere probably an hour before sunrise so that when the sky turns sort of that sort of reddy colour, that pre-glow, um, I, I can get that. But I wasn't worried about that because I wasn't shooting a big vista, I was shooting just in the woodland. But then I woke up, looked out, there was no mist. I'm like, no, that's disaster, there's no mist. Surely there's gotta be some mist. So I took my drone up from my camper van to see if there was any mist. And I could see that there was mist further down the valley in both directions. So then I had to make a decision. I decided to go into the woodland in one direction. I went down there, the mist disappeared and ended up by the lake. But by that time, the sun had just risen. I'd missed all the best conditions if I was going to shoot by the lake. And, and then I was just chasing my tail. And I, and I just kept making the wrong decisions. I kept trying to change location. What I should have done when I got to the lake was just stay in that one location and just trust the mist to probably just change, which it did. And just go down to the shore, walk along the shore and try and find some compositions. Um, knowing that I probably missed something elsewhere, but I get a better shot by staying in that one location. I just didn't do that. I broke all the things that I say all the time and I just kept moving from one location to the next. And I ended up not really getting a fantastic shot. To which point I ended up back in the woodland. And when I arrived back in the woodland, <laughs> the mist just disappeared. I talked about that shot that I got right at the end, which is a shot I've actually printed out here because I just want to talk about it. So it's this shot here. And it was a composition that I really liked. I sort of found the night before and I thought it might work in a mist. And you can just see there's a little re remnants of mist just down here. But I wanted that blue sort of cooler tones to be more in the background and sort of separate these background um, birch trees here, silver birch trees. And, and it would have looked really good if it was just a little bit mistier. And I'm sure if I'd have either stayed in this woodland or stayed by the, down by the lake, I would have got some good shots. But because I kept moving, I just kept chasing my tail and missing things. So the mistake that you've just not got to make is changing location. You've got to commit to a location and try and get the best out of it. Now, if you do change, maybe you change once because it's complete, you know the weather's completely gone from that location. But I knew that what I was trying to do was just chase the weather and that was just really stupid. Um, I shouldn't have done that. Um, and I ended up getting nothing that was really amazing. I mean, I got some nice shots, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, but it, they could have been so much better. They could have been so much better. But that's a lesson learned. It was brilliant being out though. I, I had a thoroughly enjoyable morning. I got some good video footage, some good drone um, footage. And um, yeah, I learned a very valuable lesson. I should have had a plan B. That's what I should have done. That evening, I had a lot of time. I should have scouted the woods and I should have thought, like, why don't I go by, down by the lake? and just have a scout there a little bit as well. I'd been there before though, and I sort of thought I knew it, but then when I got down there and I was rushing a little bit, I panicked and I, and I, and I didn't get what I wanted. I wanted to thank everybody as well because we're nearly at 250,000 viewers. I suspect by next weekend we will get there. I'm gonna do a giveaway at 250,000 subscribers. And um, yeah, we, without you watching these videos, then I, I wouldn't have anything um, 
any point in making them because there'd be obviously nobody to view it. So thanks ever so much. I really do appreciate it. I know I can't reply to everybody's comments and I get a lot of messages and do struggle to reply to them all, but I try as much as I can. So if I don't reply, I am really sorry, but I do really appreciate and I read all the comments. Um, I also want to say thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's episode. If you're looking for a website or a domain, then go to Squarespace. It's super easy um, with no technical skills to set up a portfolio, which is a great way to showcase your photos with Squarespace. They have fantastic support as well. Um, so if you're a little bit worried about the technical aspects of setting up a website, then there's no need. Squarespace have got you covered. And if you're ready to set up your website, go to squarespace.com and use offer code Nigel to get 10% off. Oh, one more thing actually. If you're just still here, I just wanted to show you this, um, this um, shot. So this was a shot that I took recently where I walked pebbles. Now you may have seen if you follow me on Instagram that I posted a, a, a shot of this shot with my phone and I've also shot it um, recently where I got some rainy conditions this was in the rain um, with my beer camera as well I really like it and I'm probably at some point going to talk about how I processed it because it was just a little bit different than I usually process my images okay thanks ever so much for watching until next Sunday bye